Hey, it's John Reed, JDOD here, live from Northampton, Mass. Uh, Dennis Hallett and I are about to embark on a series of video shoots that focus on SAP developers' startup opportunities. And that probably sounds a little bit weird given that SAP has been around for, what, uh, four decades now. Uh, but that's what SAP is uh, fostering right now, a startup community of developers uh, that want to kick ass around SAP's uh, latest technologies around HANA, uh, mobile, and cloud. So to kick this project off, we're out talking to developers and finding that SAP is uh, surprisingly easy to deal with uh, to get off the ground. Uh, that marks a huge break from the past. Uh, to give you a flavor of it, uh, check out this first compilation. This is uh, Jonathan Becker, SAP CMO, uh, and then a, a couple other developers that are working on cool uh, projects. So uh, enjoy and watch out for a lot more where this came from. And if you want, you can also subscribe to our uh, developer feed for this project and, and see everything right when it comes out. See you soon. So there are a lot of people here in Silicon Valley, and I, we'll just use the Silicon Valley as an example, it mm. works anywhere, mm. that said, I would love to be part of SAP's ecosystem. I'd love to use the mobile platform, I'd like to use HANA, I'd like to become involved, but mm. it's too hard. Mm. And I met one of these guys at dinner, mm. uh, a company named Zetaset, I yep. think they'll let me say that on. And yep. frankly, I sat next to him at a dinner and he said, I, I want to work with you guys, but I can't. In fact, I've tried before, I'm just not big enough. I'm 20 people. I can't do it. That's a very common thing that I would hear many, many times over. And I said, you know what? We're worse by reputation than we are reality. Mm. Our bark is maybe worse than our bite. Mm. Try again. Jonathan gave us the introduction. Uh, we got invited to the uh, HANA Startup Forum in February. Mm. And uh, there's always a little bit of positive nervousness when you're a small company and you go into the big place. Mm. And lo and behold, we got uh, best best big data startup and most likely to succeed. Mm -hmm. So that made us feel pretty good. But even more important than us out of that, that raised the visibility inside of HANA itself. Mm -hmm. So the HANA startup group, Keith, uh, Kostov Mitra and Ken Sai, and did the whole name, I'm not going to yeah, name yeah, sure. them all, um, engaged with us quickly. Okay, talk about the relationship with SAP. I sure. mean, how, how's, how's that worked in terms of um, bringing this solution to market, developing it and so forth? Yeah, so, so in essence, I mean, we're from, from basically founding of Thalia, a couple of weeks later, being an SAP partner, being SAP certified, so that was very important for us and a very smooth process. We worked together with Waldorf, with Palo Alto, mm -hmm. establishing a partnership, a ship, uh, a ship uh, getting, getting certified, it's an annual process that we do, getting recertified. Yeah. Um, and then uh, the, the HANA program was, was, a, was a natural step for us, so we looked for, for the right technology, mm -hmm. HANA was the right technology, SAP kind of announced that program. We were a little bit late in the program, one week late. Um, nevertheless, one week late. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> one week late. Yeah, we were the eighth of the oh, right, 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 right. Okay, okay. Um, But everyone was very helpful. We got two days of training on the third day. Our, our HANA instance was up and running on Amazon, mm -hmm. and we could play around with the product. 